Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading for the 7th of June, Friday. Uh, the, it could resonate right now, it could resonate later on down the line. Anything could come out during this reading right till the last second. Even after I click off, I could still click back on camera. Uh, also, if you don't know what this is, I say pay even closer attention because it could be something coming up that you're unaware of. Like I said, it could resonate now or later spirit and angels anyone for the highest good for friday what do we need to know what are the messages okay wow beautiful how nice what great energy so we've got mending we have blessed and we have milk and honey so nice now this could be for you and your partner or this could be for you and someone else this doesn't mean you're mending a relationship although it could be like look they like look like two best friends or sisters but it really says to me we're healing um like this could be you and one of your kids this could be you just healing yourself right mending blessed and milk and honey spirit stepping in to help you or you and another person heal and this doesn't have to mean healing an old relationship please don't try to force that this can be spirit helping you heal from the inside out trying to help you heal something by bringing something great into your life it could also be mending as in uh, recovering from job loss financial loss the economy you know it could be anything this freaking inflation that's unreal you know it really is about mending a blessed something helping you mend all right let's look at it um this is Wisdom of the Oracle, Tarot Mooka, and we're going to be using Idols Tarot as well. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know? What are the messages? 7th of June, for anyone who's guided, 7th of June, what do we need to know? What do we need to focus on? Mending, blessed, and milk and honey. And you know, the milk and honey is the pot of gold under the rainbow. It's gorgeous, really. It's such a great and blessed. What great energy. This is really nice up here. Better than any of the other energy I had all week. What do we need to know? What are the messages? What do we need to know? What are the messages? This did come out one day this week, though, with different cards, but it came out. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Friday's reading, 7th of June. Mending, blessed, milk and honey. What's most important? Knight of Wands. Oh, King of Swords. Been the theme all week. This King of Swords has been everywhere this week. And I think he's been in the upright every single time. And I think he was in the middle before, too. Seven of Swords right next to it in the reverse. We also have the Hierophant. We also have the Five of Wands. And this is really interesting. I'll show you in a minute. And the Chariot reversed. And the Strength card at the bottom. All right, so this really makes me feel like, um, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Oh my gosh. We have to talk. This is so crazy. All right. I feel like you have been in some kind of a battle, Seven of Wands, but for me, the Seven of Wands is the winner. It's all, like this Seven of Wands for me always reminds me of the old game, and you have to be old to remember this. The King of the Hill, the King of the Pile, and I don't mean old, but you know, older, more mature. Um, king of the pile, king of the hill, you know, the winner is the one who's on top of the hill at the end of everybody pushing and shoving. And it's just a fun game that little kids used to play back in the day before video games. <laughs> anyway, we have the world and look at her. She's like, phew, I really fought for this cycle change and whatever to move forward and get out of this position where I couldn't budge or move. I feel like you could not, there was something you had to fight for this new cycle. You had to fight for this way forward. You had to fight for this movement. You had to fight for this recovery, right? That's a healing. Remember, I talked about the mending being some kind of a healing, but it really has to do, and it could be financial because before all that is the Knight of Pentacles there reversed. It could be to fight for the money to buy a home, to fight for the money, look, Surrounding the home and the family is the Page of Pentacles reversed and the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Four of Pentacles reversed. And if I kept going, I swear I'd get more story. I better not even look. I don't like to go from that far back. 
but you're recovering from something. You're mending something. For some of you, it's definitely financial. Uh, we have the strength card here as well. You know, having the strength to now move forward. I'm not going to be in dead position anymore because why? It's time for me to move forward. I am now on my way. Why? Because I just won something. Now, this could just be metaphorically speaking. I win. I overcame it. I feel so much better. I got through it. I'm ready to face my forward movement, you know, because my chariot's been over here in park for a long time. Now, when I look at this reading, so I see you getting ready to take off and move forward. We see the King of Swords smack dab in the middle. So this could be some kind of a legal win. It could be information that comes out. It could be clarity. And it doesn't have to be all those things. It could be any one of those things. We also have Hierophant reversed and Seven of Swords both reversed. And that's what I was looking at when I saw them come out. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting. Because those two energies, along with a few other energies, remind me of somebody really being corrupt or doing something really shady well seven of swords is pretty much always shady but there's something going on here about um overcoming something it could be someone who was you were in some kind of a partnership with a contract with a relationship with a business with anything all right now and it could even could have been a business you were dealing with five of wands it could have been a big battle a, a fight anything here uh like it feels like um yeah, you because you fought and you won. So you are winning this battle, right? Um, again, Chariot's been in park. Like, uh, almost like you couldn't do anything, but it's like you had to hold your own through this. All right, let's find out. Idols, tarot, the spirit, and any angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know? What are the messages? What are the messages? What do we need to know here? What are the messages? What do we need to know? What are the messages for Friday the 7th of June? One more shuffle Friday the 7th of June. All right, let's look at that King of Swords. Like I said, he is been in every reading this week. I think every one of them. I don't know about Monday, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I believe he's been in every one of them. Tell me about this King of Swords. Wow, the hanged man. All right, so we've been trying to see something. See how the hangman's getting enlightened and he's been in this, you know, the hangman puts himself in an uncomfortable position to see things from another perspective. King of Swords is the king of clarity. And we have the Ten of Wands at the bottom in the reverse. I feel like there's something about, like, um, this cycle's really wrapping up by you gaining some kind of clarity or knowledge, or there could even be information that comes out that's going to get you out of that hangman position and allow you to not have to carry this burden any longer. What's been going, well, let's look at the Knight of Wands. We might as well. What about the Knight of Wands? Yeah, there we go. The Six of Cups reversed. Also been coming up in all the readings. Something about um, this knight is finally going to take off and leave that past in the dust. I'm so done with that. Right? So there's something here. Again, you're getting ready to take off. We see that and go down a new path and end an old cycle. You're leaving the past in the past. You're like, bye. Because you're going to be heading towards this Ace of Wands like any minute. This is your new opportunity, your new beginning. It's right there. It's been uh, uh, like blocked or you've had to decide on it or you weren't sure what to do. There's something about that. Let's look at the, I want to look at these two that I thought were so interesting that came out. Um, I feel like they belong together. The Seven of Swords reversed, Hierophant or High Priest reversed. What do we need to know? I almost feel like these all need to be together. Let's look at all of these together. Hierophant reversed, Seven of Swords reversed, Five of Wands. What is all this about? The Emperor reversed. Are you kidding me? This is not the first time that the uh, Emperor and... Was it the Emperor and the Hierophant? No, it might have been something else. This is like a boss or a business partner. Or, or it could be husband, but usually I see this energy as... Well, it could be anyone. Somebody that's been up to something. Somebody shady that you've been going through something with. Tell me about this shady person. Emperor reverse, Hierophant reverse, Seven of Swords reverse. What about it? Two of Pentacles. All right, what about it? What do we need to know? Hierophant reversed. 
Seven of Swords reversed. Emperor reversed. What do we need to know? What are the messages? The Sun and the World. Two cards of a brand new cycle for me. And she's really naked, so I'm covering her up. But the World and the Sun. There's a brand new cycle, no doubt about it, coming in. And it has something to do with... See how the... Um, this person, see how their ships are coming in behind them while they're doing something? I'm balancing. I'm trying to keep everything balanced. I'm trying to keep everything. And look how the mending, this always looks to me like they're on a seesaw balancing. They're really not, but that's what it looks like to me. Like they are sitting on a seesaw um, balancing just like this looks to me. This person's balancing and balancing these balls in the air. Um, so this really says to me, the end of you having to do all this this whole balancing act this whole situation there could even be some kind of um there could be like um a decision being made if it's your decision i feel like you're leaving a partner ten of cups reversed two of cups reversed i feel like you'll be and look to go single a uh, nine of pentacles and you'll be doing this because you want to head forward six of swords down your path that you haven't been able to go down it's been like uh it, you can't go down this path that you want to go down until you go down it so i think i feel like you are going to decide to end an old cycle with somebody you don't trust that's what i feel and if it's somebody else it's a legal decision if somebody else is making this decision i feel like it could be like a legal decision but I really feel for the majority of you, it's you deciding I'm, I want a cycle change and I want to be able to go down a path I want to go down and I want to feel real free and independent and I don't want to deal with somebody shady. So I'm leaving the past in the past. Tell me, and it's strength, you know, it's not easy, but you've been looking at it and you just like, you got real clear about it in your hangman position, in your four of swords position. It gave you a lot of time to reflect. Tell me about chariot reversed. What do we need to know? five of cups all right i've been disappointed and i stayed in this disappointment for how long for too long temperance and it's kept me off my it's kept me out of balance i've been out of balance because i stayed in this disappointment this heartache this pain whatever it is something about this person and you just got stuck in it death reversed high priestess reverse not listening to your intuition let's find out i want one more on the chariot is there anything important we need to know about this chariot in reverse please is there anything helpful you know you guys could have justice look at that like i said for some of you this could be a legal decision being made for others of you you are just taking your balance back you're grabbing your balance you're grabbing your justice by making a decision and changing the cycle completely like you're going to be the one that does it and it's really going to be so healing for you and blessed for you and you're going to find your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow by doing this for others of you it could be a legal decision anyway, thank you guys for being here i hope you like this reading and that you will like it and comment i'd love to hear from you all right thanks so much Bye bye